the very foundation of your family. Pag walay Biblia, pag walang Word of God sa family, sige away ang bana o asawa. Walang peace, walang happiness. Wala may pulong sa Diyos. No? The Bible says, Now you are clean to the word which I have spoken unto you. Malimpiyuhan inyong mga kasalanan because of this word. Teach your wife the Bible. Number seven, the husband is the bodyguard of the wife. Protect your wife. The husband is the protector. <laughs> The husband is the protector. Matthew chapter 12, verse 29, Satan will bind the strong man and spoil the house. How? Satan will destroy the family. Did you announce here what? The husband. The husband will attack, Satan will attack the husband. If Satan can destroy the husband, then, Satan can spoil the wife and his children. So, bantayan yun ang hasban, ligon ka sa pulong sa ginoo. Amen ba, Angel? Ligon ka sa pulong sa Diyos. If you have no Bible, I will give you a Bible. Importante ang pulong sa ginoo. So, these are the seven biblical responsibilities of the husband to his wife. Number one, what is that? Love your wife. Two, dwell with your wife. Every morning, mag I love you sa asawa. Dili lang kay mag I love you kung giganahan, pwede na. Study your wife. Honor your wife. Because you must say, I'm will. Taga asa ka ika, Lord, taga. Matina, you must believe, Amiel, that Lauren is the most beautiful woman in throughout Matina. <laughs> Wala na'y guwapa sa Matina, kaya imo nang nakuha. Ano, dapat imong belief. Honor your wife, provide the needs of your wife. Your wife is the treasurer and the auditor. Okay, Amil. Provide your wife, teach your wife, protect your wife. If you will, if you will not do these tips for your wife, your very prayers will be hindered. So, sa ano mo ang sa ginoo kung wala ni mo nigituman ng pito ka biblical responsibilities, may hinder ni mo pag ampo. So, magpasalamat sa ginoo. May request uh, us pray. Let us pray. Oh God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Israel, who has so consecrated the, the state of matrimony that it represents the spiritual marriage and unity between Christ and His church. Bless these your servants, Amiel and Lauren, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other. Bless them that they may live together in faithfulness and patience, wisdom, and true godliness, that their home may be a heaven of blessing and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May I request a special number? And while singing, may I request the Bill and Court sponsors to 